There it goes. Okay, we're good. Cool. So, over the past month or two, each and every one of you have been busy doing things. And near the end of this time, you all decided to rejoin at Jesper's clinic. And starting with that, when you guys last saw it, it was when the goblins came in and basically started um, taking over the business side of things. Uh, they add an expansion for the storefront, and it's, you know, goblins are now running around selling things and such. And you guys would go in the back where Jesper would lab in his room, and that's where you guys did your private meetings and the door got kicked down. When you guys return, there was another new addition, and now there's various clerics and priests running around from different gods. And this is, and it's quite interesting because you'll see like gods of um, opposing uh, domains and deities, and they're like right next to each other, uh, performing. Um, what's the word? Triage. Triage, things like that, um, curing people, uh, making sure people aren't bleeding out and dying. Um, so yeah, that's the place, and then uh, I'll let each of you kind of just update how you look like, maybe, maybe your general vibe, how, however you want to do that, and we'll just start with Kier, I guess. Um, gear doesn't really look much different. Got the same gear, generally, uh, has a new dagger, scimitar, now. Uh, got a bag of holding. Completely legally, of course. Um, just like the rest of his stuff. Hmm. There you go. Uh, Torbane, are you here? I am. Yeah. You want to share what you've been up to the past couple months with the party? Nope. <laughs> Hunting monsters. And I'll... There you go. Before the bounties were even before the bounties were posted, I've been out there hunting wolves and trying to get a nice big bear to sell the arena. Do you have there any? You uh, uh, do you have any like uh, like physical difference? I mean, the, the, my eyes are black now. Okay. That was from um, when he turned on. Yeah, dead, we know about that. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh... No, nope, that's about it. And then Jesper and then Ragnar. Ragnar. Uh, I guess Jesper might have a slightly longer beard. He looks a bit more ragged because how long has this thing been going on? This blood spilling stuff. Uh so for for it's been about a month. So it, it's been, but it's been ramping up more and more. So in the beginning, it was like one, maybe two people, and then like another week would go by, and it's more like five to ten, and now it's like constantly every bed is, is filled. Yeah, Jesper just kind of looks mildly exhausted. The only thing noticeable about him now is he has a very shiny ring on his finger. Hmm. It looks, I guess, how would rare magical items look? Like, do people recognize that they're rare? Um, it, it's, it kind of depends. So if they're able to, like, detect magic or know or are like a practitioner in the arcane arts or artificer, then yes, they absolutely would recognize it's a rare magic item. But for everyone else, it just looks like a fancy piece of um, jewelry. Okay, so that's the only really noticeable thing on Jesper is the fancy ring. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, he would, in, he would say his name is Ragnar now. Uh, you'd see him. I posted an updated pic, but... Uh, that's the best the character creator could get me that I use. But you see that his armor is more oceanic in nature now. It has it's made up of different shells that all interconnect, interlocking across his body. Um, the trident that he has looks like a similar build as far as the form of it, but materiality, the feel if you were to cast detect magic in the room is slightly different at this point. Um, he looks a little bit more. It, a little bit more withered, but more put together at this point. He has hair that used to just flow kind of 
freely, just pinned back now in a braid. Beard's a bit more trimmed. Um, and yeah, he, as for like what he did in the last month, he'd say he's the champion of a god now. Uh, he's no longer a paladin. And yeah, he's just been looking for a crew. He did go through Asmodin, uh, as Jesper suggested. And yeah, found something on an island. So yeah. Did, wait, did Mike's suggestion actually lead you to char- good character development? <laughs> Uh, a little bit, yeah. Like, was there something bit. secret in Asmodin? And that's kind of cool. I mean, uh, it, it, it makes no, perfect it sense. Wasn't, but didn't... went from a cleric of Valkyr. Like, you can ask him in character if you want yep. more. Like, well, I'm just, uh, this is a right summary. now, I don't think Jesper would, like, notice you guys, because I'm assuming, with the way you described it, I'm busy at the moment. Yeah. Like, I, that's what I'm well, assuming. You're busy, but you're not, like, to the point where you can't leave type thing because like you do have the goblins taking care of the storefront and then you have all these cler- clerics and priests running the add-on wing where you're not really running it it's just because of what you have done mm-hmm. and what as everyone has agreed upon your area your store and the area around it is sort of a neutral ground mm-hmm. aka the gray zone it's the gray zone um yeah i so. bet this looks really weird for the two religious people in the group though I mean, we all no. have our own gods. Yeah. I'm a tad bit more accepting, so long as it's not called to Umbly or Bane. Well, you would see there are a couple of Umberly's people, but not like in a hostile way. Again, everyone here is healing to some degree. Um, yeah. Some people may be asking payments beforehand, um, but everyone here, no one here is hostile. And if anyone ever shows even a hint of hostility, everyone else would just like draw weapons and death glare them. It's it's a true. If one person fucks up, everyone's gonna fuck them up. Mutually assured destruction. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Otherwise known as our nuclear policy during the Cold War. Lovely politics. Uh, well, All Ragnar would. Here. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna Ragnar would walk up to Jesper, kind of if he looks dazed. You've been busy, my friends, I see. Oh, you have no idea. Jesper is just probably covered in blood from various operations. Been using heat metal to cauterize people. Wow. That's... No, that could work. That sounds good. Yeah. But, uh, you would not believe how this... many religious people need limbs for their gods to go. I've had so many people's hands chopped off and, well... Other appendages that they'd rather not mention. Huh. Sounds painful. Delightful. Well, see that this has become a sort of neutral ground then. How'd you manage that? Fuck if I know. (laughs) (laughs) That's literally the best answer I can give because the description you gave kind of said it happened. It just kind of happened because Jesper, like, just kept treating people and I kept whacking people. I'm going to say I just kept whacking people who tried to start shit. If you would ask anyone, they would say um, Jesper, the Belevenant um, alchemist, saved the life of a, of a the daughter of one of the head priests of a chapel and wooed her, and, and you know a bunch of other like you know great Urban legend and, kind of crap. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm I'm, um, in, I'm I'm in medieval tabloids now. More or less, yeah. I've heard tales of you as soon as I got back here. Don't really believe any of them. You and Fa are charming enough for the stuff I've heard. Just pats him on the shoulder. <laughs> so, and it doesn't mean there are there aren't negative ones about you either, Jesper. Um, your your secret of being a damn figure is fully out in the open. But either everyone doesn't care, or everyone's pretending not to. Yeah, like I just like I, the point of like they got this bad. I'm like fuck this. I need to get stuff out there. And Oscar doesn't have a policy against undead. Could let Bane in here. Mm-hmm. And you, yeah, Bane, you would see several people of more positive and life-filled domains of clerics are giving you death stares, but no one's making any hostile action against you unless you do so first. So, oh, uh, yeah. I'm also. I should probably mention, uh, since there is a holy war going on outside, I'm probably a bit of a target. Uh, I am the only 
champion of the goddess Vanessa of the sea. And I've also found I'm in a scenario where I just full cards on the table now, I suppose. I am both a Cordson and a Meriwether, which is well was the kingly line of the two sides of the Civil War of the Trite. So might have some problems down the line, but yeah, just want to let you all know now. Okay, so I'm Jon Snow. Yeah. At this just okay, the sake so of you, I'm Jon Snow. You're basically. the champion of Vanessa, he said? Yes, she's a forgotten patron. To see. Okay. She hid thinking. after the her side of the Triton Civil War. She lost, as did Volker and uh, Shante. Shanti, I believe it was. I forget yeah. the other one. Shante. Yeah, Shante. There you go. All right. Anyways, while you're back in town, maybe we can figure out a way to stop this town from getting burnt to the damn ground with all this shit going on. Well, do any of your guys have a horse in this race? I really don't pay much attention to the gods, so I would not know. There's a peaceful solution can be found. It'd probably be better than everyone burning each other to the ground. And frankly, I like my shop, and I like this place because a good business, nice social location. I kind of like this town. I don't want to see it get red of blood. Yes. Are there any Ayun scholars that you know of that are currently practicing here? They're I... recorders. They might have information on how the war has been progressing. Mm, would I know that? Like, I asked you if I... You never get me back to me on if there any interesting NPCs in here we could, like, kickstart this plot with. Okay, so, uh, Park, you and Robotty for me. Um, what what did you ask for? He asked about oh, if there sorry. were any uh, Iune scholars that can give us a uh, leg up on the war. It, yeah, because I, I don't know, just I figured um, Iune, people would be keeping records of the war so, just because that's Iune's thing. So, so interesting yeah. enough, Iune is going to be one of the few clerics and priests not in your clinic. Hmm. Okay. Um, the reason for that, you don't know. But it is like one of the few that are in there. Um, I guess here, let me let me pull up a quick list and just ramble off a few gods that, um, just a few like important, I guess important stuff. Because yeah, I never got to see that on that. Yeah. So, hold on one second here. The Ion definitely won't be there. Any knowledge god, not not saying okay. people won't be in there. It's just. If you see one in your clinic, it's going to be very, very, very uncommon, if not rare. Um, so, obviously enough, any life cleric, 100% you'll see any of their gods in there at any time, just because of what your clinic has become and represented. Um, let's see here. Um, obviously, Vecna... People won't be in there unless you count Torb. So I'll let you decide if you want to count him or not. Hmm. Um, Forge clerics are going to be pretty uncommon. Uh, just because, again, of what they represent. Double double weird that Torb's here then. Yeah. Well, he's here because of your friend, not because of the clinic itself. Yeah. Um, pretty much, though. Any other domain would be there. Um, Death domain would be there just because of the Holy War. They are trying to kill people, but they're being Death. subtle about it. Grave. Um, grave would be there to prevent people from dying. Life would be there. Light would be there. Light. Nature would be there a little bit. Because, um, you know, nature does have some healing spells and such, and to cure poisons and everything. Um, order, peace, definitely are there. Absolutely. Those are probably the the two you'll see as much, if not more, than life domain. Again, because this is a gray zone. Yeah. So they're they're there unofficially to keep some sort of order and peace, mm. to make sure people don't kill each other. Um, Tempest and war, you would see there on par with like um, the nature domains. Just again because. The, the Holy War has not officially started yet. Lines have not yet been drawn amongst the gods. That's still happening. It does not mean squabbles and fights aren't happening, though. Um, you... And then Trickery and Twilight, you wouldn't know. Yeah. 
but Trick Riot makes sense. Uh, mm-hmm. Here, I never really asked. Do you, I don't think in character we know you about a follower of Mask. Do you know that in character? Uh, um, don't believe come up unless, like, he wore a... I don't remember if he actually wore it in any instance around the party. I don't think so, because you never, almost never talk, so I think, because I remember hearing Chris say it once, so I don't think came with character, so... Here, you follow a guy? Uh, yes, but they have no stake in this. Alright. So, we got Vecna, Vanessa, and someone else who has no stake in this. Now, where should we get going? Now, what? how do we get going to stop this from becoming even worse? Ugh. So, okay, so the backstory of how this came up is I rescued the daughter of a head of a priest. Can I go visit this priest person? Mm-hmm. So, the... <coughs> the, the church that you rescued this daughter from is one of the big ones in town. Yeah. Um, it, it's, funny enough, one of the churches that belongs to the domain of a city. Wait, the city's domain? No, like the city domain. Yeah, the cleric, cleric. city domain. That's a, wait, isn't that a domain pathfinder? Yeah. It's a, no, it's, it's a, a domain in 5e as well. I didn't even know it was in 5e. Okay. It, it's it's a minor domain. Um, it would fall under like order or peace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we know which god it is? You can go there and find out. Oh, I just felt like I would have known if like the guy talked up and gave his daughter back. Okay. Um. Hold on a second here. Like, it feels like an odd detail to leave out if they base the entire trusting me around it. It's not that they kept it from you or anything like that. It's it just, just, it just um, never came up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but I know where this church is. Yeah, you do. Okay, can I look at the church and make an educated guess on what it look, what it's like? What it's it could true? be a uh, religion check. Twenty-four. Yes, you would know who it is. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. As I totally don't try to look one up real quick for a random generator. <laughs> oh, yeah. Naturally. Of course. Unless you know one off the top of the head. Abadar? You know what? Yeah, it's Abadar then. There we go. Okay. We're mixing we're mixing deities now, though. How, how is that? Is that not a 5e god? I think it is by Vega, but it's from Greyhawk. It's not from Forgotten Realms, as far as I know. Ah, it's gonna be fine. The Greyhawk is... It's all 5e gods. Abadar is the god of cities, and his favorite weapon is the crossbow, if I recall correctly. The cities, laws, merchants, wealth, etc, etc, etc. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, is, that a, is that a good one? Yeah, that works. Okay, yeah. Sound of Abadar... It's like yeah. It's from he's from Pathfinder. That's what he's from, actually. <laughs> well, three Greyhawk Pathfinder is based off the Greyhawk setting. Because uh... basically, Pathfinder is a uh, uh, my own blackjack and hooker version of three point five in the history. That's how Pathfinder kind of came to be. Interesting. Yeah. Come on, kitty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No one here has any good shit against Abadar, right? I'm thinking, uh, I don't think I would. No. It, this this god would be a minor... It, it would be on par with the dove goddess. Well, she, she'd be a little bit stronger than her, simply because of what he represents, but he's not like on par with Bane or, uh, or you know, Ione or okay. any of those dog gods. He would be considered a um, lesser deity gotcha. in this world. Alright, so, yeah. uh, is it the temple open or should I knock on the door? It, it'd be open. It, it's the city's temple, so because it, it is the city's temple that represents, you know, the city itself, it, it is one of the larger temples, just because it rep- represents within the name of city, which is the capital of Osgard. 
Um, if you if this was a temple in some like farmer's town with like six people in it, it would be maybe a shrine in the middle of some pasture if that. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so let's head in, then. That's. <sighs> All right, is so everyone going in there? Yeah. Cool. So you would all travel that way. Um, walking through the streets, from once you all, comparing to the first time you all came to the Nameless City, um, there's definitely been way more work done, especially over the past couple of months with the upcoming, uh, with the rise of the war. Um, businesses are opening up left and right. You can pretty much buy almost anything here of like uncommon and, and lower for like, you know, just, you can go to any store and find this stuff. Um, just because of all the adventurers, people have been finding items, selling them, getting gold, making items, et cetera, et cetera. Um, along with an increase in um, city defenses. So now there's a, a wall around the name of the city. Hmm. It's not a big, massive, you know, 100-foot tall one, but it is a stone wall that it's going to have problems climbing over. Yeah, with um, various different um, hired guards, because the name of city doesn't quite officially have a guard unit yet. They just mostly rely upon adventurers and um, that stuff for that job still. Yeah. So you would walk through the town. You would, you would pass the Heaven's Twelve statues and such. I, uh, wait, is that lady there that bitch slapped me in the past? She is one You're of the statues. That's the only lady this bitch slapped me. The, really? the holy, um, the other one shot paladin me. one from the memory. Yeah, like Jasper just kind of looks at it and like subtly flicks it off as he walks by. It sucks Connor's not here because he would recognize one of them. So. Yeah. Mm. The dad's and here. then Kier, Kier, there is one that also stands out to you. Do you remember? You don't remember the the Kinku? Oh, the Heaven Twelve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then for you, so for everyone else, the statue is just a Kinku stated there. But for you here, you would see a certain article of clothing on him. You uh, know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. would be able to see that now on him. Interesting. Yeah. As if you know that side of the, or you know the universe has been revealed to you and such. <laughs> If you catch my drift. Yeah. So, and everyone else is like, what the fuck is he talking about? What do you see? What do you see with your special eyes? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yep, you would walk past all that. And then you would head to the temple um, of Abador. You would walk in, several of the clerics and priests. Um, they have, like, mixed emotions on their face because they, like, they see Jesper and they're like, hey, it's Jesper. But they also see, like, Torbane, and they're like, why is there a follower of Vecna in here? What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And that's when one of the um, higher-ranked priests, not the head priest, but one of the higher-ranked ones. Ooh, excuse me. We lost someone. He's back. Back, Torb? Mm-hmm. Never left. Okay, good. Oh, you, you did leave, actually, for a second there. Anyways, um... Well, like I said, one of the higher-ranked priests would come up to you, Jesper, and he would give pleasantries and be like, well, what can we do for you, Jesper? Uh, hi, yeah. I just wanted to talk to... Do I even know his fucking name? Because <laughs> I'm assuming... Yes. Yeah. What is his name, Jesper? I'll let you pick the name. Oh, I have to make it up? Yeah, I'll let you pick it. It's just fun. It's just fun. Less work I have to do. Okay. Okay, name of a law cleric. I'm gonna call him. If it if it makes you, he would be a tiefling. Robbie Hamus. Robbie, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie Hamus. Robbie. Robbie I, the tiefling. I hope someone gets that. Law. I hope someone gets that joke. Nope. Don't get it. Nope. I Hammur, do not. Hamur Robbie, the guy who codified the first law code in history. The guy who what? Pretty much made the first written law code in history. Hamur Robbie's code. Isn't like Babylon. Oh. Yeah. 
So oh, did not know that. Yeah. Oh, so, no. I I literally named my NPC the historical character, so it's just a habit. So his name is Robbie Hamu. Uh, Robbie, right. the, yeah, Robbie the cleric. Right. Yeah. So you're here to see Robbie. Um, yeah. No, he wouldn't. He he would like make a glance at your companions, and he would be like, "All right, well, I'll go fetch Robbie." Yeah. For you. And it'll take you to like a side conversation room within the temple. Um, and then you would see Robbie would come walking in. Yeah. You'd be like, well, Chespa, what do I owe the visit from you and your companions? So he like, once again, looks at all of you and he's like, what kind of friends do you have? Like, this kind of hodgepodge group are these people? Uh, we kind of got thrown together by circumstance. We all showed up at the same time, took on similar jobs, and now are bonded by drama. Yeah. He didn't actually, actually that's just the look he had. But yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But no, uh thing is we're trying I'm trying to figure out because like you've seen the state of my clinic, it's only gotten worse since the first since your daughter came out. I don't want this whole town to start bleeding and stabbing each other, and I was wondering if you had any insight on where like the main problems are, given that well, you're a cleric of the law and usually the law is pretty fair. And tries to keep the peace and order. And I do not want this place to fall into absolute chaos. It's kind of be bad for business, you know? Before we get to that, I think we need, need to understand what is the trigger that caused this war? What is this all for? That's what I'm asking, basically. Rabbi would nod. He would take a seat. Justice, spectacles. That's what we're trying to figure out. We've been in contact with the Ayun and other knowledge clerics to see if they can glean an idea of what's going on here. I, ever since you saved my daughter's life, I've been working tirelessly to figure out what is going on here. Why, why is this happening? It's not uncommon for people like us to squabble over things for our gods for more attention. But to this drastic measure, when such a small area, Something definitely is stirring the pot. It's not natural in the way it started. It being kept somewhat hushed down, it hasn't bled over into any other countries or larger cities within Osgard. But it, it's it's getting to that point. And once it does, it's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, we best avoid that. Okay, well, here's... Uh, I don't think there's any avoiding it. I think it's just diminishing how bad it will be. Well, still, I don't want this... Even if the city goes to war, I don't want the city to, like, vanish off the map. I kind of like Osgard's independence from I other nations. I don't think it would disappear. It, it's, it's, it's not a war of destruction. It's a war of... Under new management is what you're saying, I believe. It, exactly. Whatever God comes out on top is going to rule. He, he would just rag well, exactly. It's uh, the name of the city is every city in every country has a main hierarchy of gods uh, that have alliances and such. You take for example, Asmodin, a lot of lawful god or not law, Asmodin, uh, Remsiria. Basically, every single god that's a lawful of nature has a stake in that country somewhere, while every god of chaos and disorder are shunned and looked down upon. Hmm. Look at East Goldak. Every cleric of every cleric of the forge, um, nature, knowledge, anything that can help it, you know, in that regard, hundred percent they're welcome with open arms. But you bring a god of destruction over there, you will be looked at with distaste. And that's what's happening with Oscard right now. There, there is no domain here. It's, it's chaotic and disorderly, which a lot, some gods love and enjoy, and that's what they want. Others do not. It's not. Would you say it's not natural that this place, like all the others, would have a dominant sort of type of deity? I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised it took so, so long for something like this to happen. Yeah, it's, it's the way of this world. I'm not saying that it's necessarily good or bad, but there are, will be other places if you serve another god that you can go. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's meant to happen here. 
Yes, so but the problem is... rather stopping this war, maybe we should be helping the side that we feel would be best beneficial to the people here and for the economics. Rabbi would kind of shrug and tilt his head side to side. If that is what you guys want to do, that's perfectly fine. My job is to keep order and peace here. Make sure the city doesn't crumble and fall. Are you going to get that many gods to stand down? It's not how many gods can get stand down. It's just how many squabbles and fights we can prevent having ninth level meteor swarms cast upon it. Hmm. All right. Thank you. So, go, oh. but again, the problem isn't that it is happening. It's how it's happening. What caused it? Again, squabbles and holy wars like this over new land isn't uncommon, but it's not just a few gods or a majority of gods. It's all gods. You have any city records? Do you have any like? Do you have any city re as a god cleric of the city? Do you have any city records in your possession? We do. May I have a look at some of them? What are you looking for? And then uh, Park. What do you want to say? No, nothing. It was commentary. <laughs> okay. Good. What's the oldest building in Oscar? Oldest building of Oscar. He he scratches his chin or one of his horns. The old, oldest one's still standing. It's probably either the Adventurers Guild or what is well, what is left of the uh, one of the little couple taverns and such. It's yeah, you remember Oscar wasn't just coming out of nowhere. It, several other countries sacrificed their land for it. Yeah. So, but once Oscar's border were drawn, the first building built was the Avengers Guild. All right. Do we... Every other building before then already existed. But Oscar's the country, not the city, right? Correct. What's the oldest building in this city? The Avengers Guild. All right. Well, we're, we have, we, our, my little group here have our own way of solving things. I think we might take a look at that. If we have anything to help me any news from the Iron Clerics, keep me posted. I'm going to try my best just to not let this place fall apart. I say you should, if you want to figure out things, there's two paths you can have. Either figure out who or what caused this and figure out their motivation, or join their side. Or draw your own lines, form your own hodgepodge group with your gods and do as you wish. There's no right or wrong answer of how you want to do this. Well, first, I want to figure out what's going on. Yeah. He, he would shrug. Pretty sure I already told you, but all right. No, no. But you keep the way you keep saying it is like th this is weird because it's so fast. It's happening. Someone's inciting this, right? That's what he believes. Yes, or that's what Rabbi is believing. Yes. So I wanted to investigate that. Like that's why I asked about the okay. oldest building in Oscar. If, like, yep. this is happening here, maybe we the oldest building has something to do with it. That's my logic, at least. Uh, that would be the Adventures Guild. So, that is, yes. the Adventures Guild is the old, is the first building built within Osgard and within the name of city. Yeah. Once the borders and city lines were drawn. Every other building before that already existed in the pre-existing land that was sacrificed to create Osgard. I might have to look up previous stuff, too. Uh, do I know any? Of and he would, yeah. Are there any like, stories in the universe, of, like an angry ghost of the land coming up and avenging it after a new, a uh, new group comes in? Um, not really. No. Okay. Not, not, not to the point it would start a holy war. Yeah. Like I'm just trying to find the guy who's pushing the strings here. I, I'm trying to find the guy who's like just did a little push on the crate of this. Jenga Tower. Mm -hmm. This feels like someone's. Do I get the feeling someone did this, or this is just happening? I know. What do you? What do you feel? I feel like someone did this because this happened way too fast and way too aggressively. There wasn't even like, like, dude, it happened in a month. There wasn't even like riots in the background happening. There's no like dissatisfaction. There were protests or riots first or other stuff. They went immediately um... to kill on sight. Well, there was, before, even before 
there were conflicts. Some churches would sabotage other shrines. A lot of gods had to hide their shrines. Especially those of the lesser deities or ones that are very ostracized. Like, for example, for Torbane and his Vecna shrine. It's not even Oscar. Because if he, if he had that in Oscar, it, if he walked away for longer than a day, it, he would come back and it would be destroyed. Alright. All right. And that's why it's hidden out in the cut in the force. Exactly. <laughs> Until you can build up a strong enough force to keep it protected. Alright. Okay, thank you, Robbie. That's all I wanted to know. Of course, if you ever need my help again, don't be a stranger. And my daughter wishes to meet with you if you ever have the time. Uh, well, hopefully once the clinic's less busy, I'll thank you up for that offer. Ah, yes. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Do that, DM? Have a girl voice for a while? Oh, you know, I love having a girl voice. Oh, da 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 what the oh. hell accent is that? It's um, it's my I'm pretending to be a girl, but I'm doing it horrible on purpose accent. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Very big fan of that accent. Keep yeah. it up. Oh, you know, it's it's the best one in the world. This girl I, I, so I has your goddess. This girl so has wooden shoes. This is such a weird session. It's a holy <laughs> war, and Jesper's the most involved, but Jesper doesn't follow any gods. I mean, I mean, I have ideas, but I'm letting you do your thing right now. Yeah. You know? See, you, there's a god you you do not follow, but like, what which one was it? it was I own that you said? I forget which one it was. I I never said anything. The only god I've had any involvement with at all is vaguely Avia because of the boon. Oh, I I could have sworn you had a god. Oh, okay. No, I I was a stu I was just a student. I you may have gotten that because I was a student of knowledge and like I was a sage. Mm, you might have just that's like probably what it was. You probably just extrapolated like I am a scholar and all that, and you just said, oh, he's Nyun cleric. And I yep. uh, no, like I kind of agree with Nyun's teaching, but I don't like devoutly follow her. So so again, yeah. common D and D knowledge that people will always make a mistake of. Just because you follow a god doesn't make you a cleric or a paladin of them. That, that, Your local farmer follows like six gods. Yeah, that's not. I it just slipped out. I know what you meant. You're right, cool. Yeah, yeah, but it's just this party has like three people, four people who are like, I'm going to become the champion of my god, which isn't bad. It's, it's it works out really well because the holy war and everything. <laughs> well, I just played. I just played a big god champion dude last session. I didn't want to deal with more religious shit. In, that uh, was perfectly fine. Yeah, in, uh, in the other campaign. You're perfectly fine. So, you all leave the temple yeah. of uh, the, the city of yeah. Abadar. And um, where do you go now? Or I'm what, asking, what is the general thought process of the party? I'm asking the guys around here. You got any guys? Any thoughts on what, we, where, who, what the, could cause this? I'm not going to put it back. Um, just looking at the list actually, before I say that, real quick, we have Order, War, and Storm. So War and Storm, any chance that Cord or Bane are in this? Uh, in it? Yes, absolutely. Um, again, these, so those are just people within Jesper's clinic. It doesn't mean people of those other domains are still, air quotes, participating, because it's, it's basically... Every um, every cleric and every priest, every paladin, every follower of these gods who chooses to is participating in this the startup of this holy war. Um, it, it, it's not to the point of open street fighting. A lot a lot of fighting is happening more outside of the name of city, but it, it's there's still every now and then you would hear whispers of someone attacked a, a temple in, in the name of city. Such and such god went and attacked this temple. Such and such god did this. Such and such god did that. So it's, like it's, it's, okay. it's, it's a holy World War II, and I'm Switzerland. <laughs> Listen, I do agree there must be something more, shall we say, something we haven't heard of yet behind the scenes working. But as of right now, to rely expel the possibility. I would not put it past Bane or Cord to be stirring things up to cause war. I think it would be valuable to definitely look into them, see if there was any rituals or anything done that could have caused this. Mm. Alright. Well, let's go to the Storm Temples next, then. Right. 
So. <laughs> Do you want to tell him, Parker? You or me? Ragnar is on. I cannot go in those. What? Not like physically. Oh, um, because I am the last of a kingly line. That I also have quotes in blood, but uh, yeah, basically they want to kill me on sight. Any storm or cleric of chords or to a lesser extent, eh, not really Bane. Bane is fine, I suppose. It's mainly chords and the chords uh, not good with. We have survived but... the Temple of Umberly, going through the entire King of Asbin, raiding a temple. I think we can handle a few priests if things get rowdy. That priest we just talked to mentioned a meteor swarm being used in combat. I think that's a bit above our pay grade, what we're facing in this city. So here's what I propose. Let me go to Bane, or let me at least take some of you with me and go to Bane. The rest of you will go to Cord, investigate, see if there's anything we can find there. But if I'm with you, they can sense me. They'll know I'm there. There are only four of us. Splitting the party is a terrible idea. Fine, I'll go by myself then. <laughs> I'll go to Bane. I, I... This needs to be looked into. This could just be as simple as the war gods having some fun. Uh... All right, just be careful. I always do. And you want to go with him, or you're all going to let him go by himself? What the drop of you with me? <laughs> yes, your fir your first mate's with you. Yeah, here. You know, I'll go with them. Oh. Hey. Okay. Oh, that'll be but, interesting but, character I'm, development but, after last. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Um, but I'll also be donning on my old uh, religious symbol of Mistra. The protector. How did you go from Mistra to Vecna? Um, I was betrayed and I felt she'd forsaken me. Then I okay. was sold into slavery in the arena, and then the Vecna gave me some powers to get out of slavery. Well then. That's a weird. Okay, so we're doing your set, guys, first. What did you think here? Bane is going into Bane's temple. Yes, yes, yes. Bane, Ragna, going into the Bane's temple. Ragnar. <laughs> Ragnar. I, I, you, you forgot. I had a cleric named Ragnork. Um, so like when I say like Rag, I'm like, okay, it's not Ragnork. His name's not Ragnork. It's Ragna. Or Ragnar, or whatever it is. Ragnar. Ragnar. It's phonetic. It's phonetic. Anyways, I'm gonna get it wrong on purpose from now on. Um, My gosh, guys, I get the Macalo for four years, but like, come on. Chalo, Macalo, Mitochondria. Michelo, we got all of them. In oh, between. you're forgetting about Mickey. Michelo. Yep, Mickey. Yep. Mick. Uh, um. Anyway. The Torb, you put away your shield. I'm assuing. Yep. It's like underneath my cloak. All right. So, and you two would walk into Bane's temple. And it looks like a stereotypical temple of, of a war god. Oh. You know, pyres of fire, a um, lot of warriors standing around with big, scary weapons, a lot of, excuse me, a lot of orcs and half orcs and such. And when you walk into this place, um, Torb, everyone looks at you. And you hear whispers of destroyer, defiler, rejecter. And you remember there was a certain um, altar you destroyed quite a long time ago. No. You remember that tour? Look at him. The orcish one, yeah. Yeah, or you know Grimmish. the one. Oh, it was Grimish. It wasn't Bane. You're right. Never mind. Grimish. Shoot. Yep. You're right. You're right. I take it back. I fucked up. For some reason I thought that was Bane. I need to correct my notes. <laughs> See, never mind then. Yeah, so no one looks at you. I mean, a couple people do, especially the paladins when they detect your undeadness, but no one makes any hostile moves toward any of you. 
and one of the priests would walk up to you two, a very large um, Goliath of a man. Welcome. What is your war path? The path has led us here. We're looking for information. Information? This is no yes. place for that. Well, when it is pertaining to war, I can think of no greater place than to come to the God of War himself. Mm. Maybe. What do you wish to know? The war it's that's of... been raided. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I have like You're a good? second delay. I'm sorry. I keep interrupting everyone. Uh, the war that's been raging on the outside. We want to know more about it if your god had anything to do with it. I, myself, am looking to, shall we say, create a spark in some other colonies. And if Bane had any rituals or something like that, they could have aided in something. I would very much like to know how it was accomplished. Are you... You're not deception. lying, but you're like, but, yeah, deception. Yeah, it's not truth enough to be a yeah, truth. Yeah, exactly. Because, like. I mean, it, it's kind of true. It's kind of true, but it's not true enough. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. like... It, it, you, you're the DM, it's on you. Yeah, give me a so, yeah. check. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, cool. So he would, like, look at you a little weirdly. He would glance at Torb, and he'd be like, well... We are currently working on that. We plan to take this city by its throat and rule it with an iron fist. Naturally, yes. Right of conquest, all of that I completely understand, and I hope that your god brings you favor in the coming wars. But is there anything, I'm just inquiring, unnatural, divine about the spark that started this war, that all of it... Or is it purely just nature of man fighting? He would shrug. We don't know. We didn't draw the first blood, but we surely draw the last. <laughs> ah, yes. Very good. Uh, can I insight check him? Yes, you absolutely can. Or better yet, can I elbow Bane to please insight check him? It's like a please door Bane insight check him because I have a zero. I mean, you can both roll. Yeah, you both can do it. Okay. All right. Unless Torb automatically just thinks he's telling the truth. Well. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, Torb, you can't get a read on this guy. You can't tell if he's lying or telling the truth. Um, But, Park, you, you, you see right through his facade this man is how do i explore this he's not lying to you but he's also creating this false image in his own mind of what exactly is going on as what you would think a typical warmongering follower would do he's like you know we may not start it it's like you know like world war ii you know america didn't start it but damn right we're gonna finish it yeah so that kind of that kind of vibe okay but as far as what he was saying, like, about... It's true. Yeah, so he, yeah. so Bane did not start. So no Bane started this. Well, okay. as far as this priest knows, Bane did not start it. Is he... Does he look like one of the higher priests up? Uh, or... He's not a bottom... He's not, like, he's not a head priest, but he's not, you know, okay, an so acolyte. Would, so from my religious knowledge, he would... He, he, based on what I understand, he's not, like, a lower level, like... Hey, Father Tim, clean the pews, kind of guy. Like this exactly. guy actually have information. Okay. Yeah. That's and it, and like unless Bane is keeping this very hush hush, this guy would know. I mean, it's Bane. It's a war god. As, as soon as Bane started drawing blood, I'm like, all right, everyone, let's go. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And if it, and if this guy isn't in on it, then yeah. All right. Before we go and leave you to your glorious battle, I do have a question, if you would permit me. What do you wish to know? Being the foremost experts on war in this world, do you have any knowledge of 
only suggestion of where we should start our or continue our investigation on how this war began. <laughs> you should start it on the bl- battlefield. Which Just battlefield? Question. Any of them. There are several ha- occurring around uh, Osgod. Little squabbles. Our god are currently orchestrating several raids against some of the uh, gods that we don't like. Do what we do, just ask questions and kill them, whether they tell the truth or lie. Now we all have our own methods, and who am I to judge? Thank you for your help. Ben, unless you have any questions, I am good to leave. I just bow. Alright, then I guess we exit. And exit start stage left. The battlefield. Yep. Well, I would you meet up with the rest of your party first? <laughs> oh yeah, none of us have sending. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so you would walk out of the temple and you would see Kier and Jesper standing there. Um, and yeah. Down to go. See, well, I don't believe that they are any orchestr- orchestrators of this war. They would have been far more prepared for it. They'd have the entire country by now. Bane had truly taken them over against it. But he said something interesting, which I don't even think you realized. He said, go to the battlefields, which is an interesting proposition. There might be residual divine energy, Arcada, or something else there that could possibly be influencing the minds of the soldiers, or even the divine gate, or something like that. It would Why be I, worth like, heading to one of the battlefields. Wait, okay, so Chris asking this. Is he talking about a metaphorical battlefield that's in this entire city's battlefield, or is there an actual literal battlefield around here? There are actual fights happening outside the Nameless City. Yeah, I imagine there'd have to be battlefield. The amount of yeah. clerics and paladins. Yeah, they Does that make a history check no to know if there's food. any particularly bad battlefield, like, historically speaking? Historically? Um, or outside that... of the, the main ones you learned a few sessions ago. <laughs> okay, then never mind. Because the battlefield we learned about a few sessions ago is miles and miles away. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there being any word of, like, what gods who, like, fought first? Um, yes. Give me one moment. Which well, we'll kick this off. Yes, yes, yes. Give me one second. Let me pull up that list. Yep. So give me five minutes. Let me get this up and that one. Um, so, so Tyr, Bahamut, and Groomish, and there's one more. Where, where is it? It was four. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the top. It was four war gods is what basically started it. Um, Tempest, that was the fourth one. Tear, Tempest, Bahamut, and, um, Grimish. Grimish, yeah, those are the four that started it. Mm. Well, not started it, but those were the four who had the first open fights, squabbles and such. Mm. Hmm. All right. I feel, like we're getting, I feel like we're going nowhere fast with this. It's a lot of thinking. Did you propose then? I, I don't fucking know. I just... Something feels off about this. 
Well, the plan was to go to the other temple for Bane and Cortiner. Bahamut group. Do, okay, I don't know much about Tempest. Which god is that? God of Storms. It storms and warm, I assume. Basically, like another cord. Okay, because I, I, I always thought that was cord. It's also um, cord. Yeah, Tempest and Cord are basically the same god, but just one is. Um, I think one is evil, one is good. Oh, Tempest. Yeah. Oh, Tempest. Okay. Yeah, Tempest. That's what I said. I, I, put, e -M -P -U -S. I, I heard it as Tempest. Like the. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, no. Tempest. Yeah. yeah the, oh, it's not Storms then. Yeah. Oh, it's not Storms? Okay. Yeah, and then it's, the name makes it sound like it is Tempest. Yeah, it's just. Um, God of War. Yep. Lord of Battles, God of War, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay, honorable battle. Okay, so he likes force of arms, little disputes. Tier, I know Tyr and Bahamut are lawful good. Grim's chaotic evil, I think. Tempest, I think he's lawful evil, actually. I think he's neutral. He's just neutral. Oh, he's just pure neutral? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Groops is our Groops is our honest life candidate, but that seems almost too obvious. And frankly, I don't see him starting a war in a place with this many other gods around. Groops may be chaotic, but he's not completely stupid. Hmm. Or maybe not quite a god. You got an idea? Do you remember the you were there in the mines, correct? Uh, you're talking about the shadow, the goblin shadow thing. Much more than just for those goblins, but yes. Well, yeah, the one they were worshiping, that shadow deity. We had no idea. Yeah. You think it's popping back up? Well, uh, I investigated the family of that mines. They were some sort of follow for it. And remember, do you remember in? No one's around, right? Just uh, I mean, you're not exactly in a quiet area, but no one's like eavesdropping, as far as you can tell. Like, it, it, oh, like whisper, like the and we like the vision ritual. Yeah. Like remembering, because don't want to mention too much about that place without. Mm -hmm. I think we can talk to each other about it. Yes, you yeah, can absolutely saying, talk to I don't want to be overheard about it. Huh. Um, so the one who rejected the ritual was that, de that deity. Oh, is, you think they're still alive? They certainly are going about around still. Hmm. Well, Oscar would be the place to go if you want to establish yourself, so that makes sense. Do you have any, are it's this family that's connected to them live in town? Uh no, they've gone completely into hiding. Did they only last word I last word I saw of them was when we attacked that island and that their their name cop popped up in one of the ledgers. Great. Do you, do I have any old establishments? Like did they used to be here? Um did they? What I've seen found any in my research? So they were here in Oscar, but remember their their home their home yeah. mansion was in Coalith. Yeah. Okay, but where's the mansion here? Because if it's related to them, maybe there was some familial connection to this man other place they were at here. Did they have like a property here, or were they just a hotel or something? Uh, it was their um the mines that you um help ex air quotes helped excavate. <laughs> oh yeah, we blew half of it up. Mm -hmm. To be fair, that that's what they were wanting, anyways. Yeah. The, the, those goblins were planting there by them. Okay, that's an interesting angle to take. The scorn deity, mines, and the mines are in Oscar. Should we go back there and investigate some more? We didn't actually. We kind of had to get the hell out of Dodge once the explosives went off. Didn't really get a chance to look around. Good. I sound yeah. to the others. Anyone got any injections? I mean, the worst. I mean, the worst thing we're gonna get out of it is a walk. 
and some time away from the city and, you know, everyone trying to kill each other. Ragnar? Bane? If that is what we think the best course of action is, then yes, it would take time, but can you leave your clinic for that long? The God, trust me, Yemix will not let that place fall down unless unless they can make gold. And plus, if that place gets destroyed, this whole town's going with it. At least that's how I understand it, how you told it to me. Like, if someone fucks up there, this whole town's getting nuked, and that's going to be ground zero. Basically, more or less. Yeah. Basically, if someone fucks up there... It just, break in, yeah. it just breaks into all-out war. Yeah. Like, if someone fucks up my clinic, then, frankly, we should get the hell out of town, too. Because we are not going to survive a high-level cleric war in a town. Your point. Yeah. I'm willing to go if you think that's what's best. It's the only lead. Honestly, it's the only even vague lead we got. Yes. That is if we're still trying to solve how the war started. I can't hurt to know, and maybe if we find out how it starts. It's tense right now, but it hasn't actually started yet. Maybe. Is it. Okay. Out of character, just quick question. Is the war absolutely inevitable, or can we prevent it? Um. Unknown. Okay, so we can try. It's not a holy war yet. Yeah. But we're near there. Okay. The only reason I'm interested in finding out, uh, or even I think we should intervene, is if there is, like we're saying, this other deity or other thing intervening in this. Does this thing even have a name here? Mm, Probably, but it's been forgotten as far as I'm aware. At least by the popular, like majority of people. Hmm. If it's not this thing, this deity, then I don't think we should mess with this. It's natural. It's like everywhere else. Some gods will be remain dominant. Others will go back to their champions in other cities. Yeah, but I don't want. Frankly, I don't want Oscar to just get reabsorbed into someone else's area, because that's what's gonna happen if a god takes over. That god's freaking well, blood in, and it's just going to become part of Coalinth or Goldak or Azmuthid again. Alternatively, we could go ask around a the temple, those four, and see if they have anything seemed off about first battles. Well, that's probably the better option since we're already in town. Let's start with the Div going. Think? We're going to talk to the me or him? Uh, Kier. I, I can barely hear Reese. Uh, I said we can start at the temples of these four and ask mm-hmm. if, uh, and basically if anything was off at Ground Zero. Gotcha. I say we start with the orcish ones. Yeah, that's going to be a difficult one. There's, there's been a lot, ever since we destroyed that, or I destroyed that altar, there's been a lot of sightings lately. Remember my phone Was the burnt bodies and what? Yeah, let's go. I remember those. Well, let's go see the temple. Maybe they'll give us an actual answer for once. Uh, I'll be, um, are you certain it was best for you walking in there? You being Jesper? Why would I be a problem? Oh, wait, were you not at the. Like, there was nobody to live. I was I was there. I didn't destroy the fucking uh, altar to Groomsh. I just rescued somebody. <laughs> that was pretty much it. And then stood there and healed me the whole time. That's basically all I did. Oh yeah, I kept healing you. I ran out of spell slots very fast that session. But don't worry, I can I can disguise myself. Not a problem. All right. I mean, let's just head in. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? As before, I would use my furbog magic to uh, disguise self, and I make myself look like a half giant frost. Okay. So you're going to go into the Temple of Groomish, right? Yeah. All of you? If there even is one in the town. There is. Oh. Like I said, there's most gods' temples are here. It's it's the ones that are heavily, heavily, heavily ostracized, like Vecna, for example, that you won't find here. Or they're more of a 
trickery or secretive domain is just gonna be hard to find just because of what they represent. Like Char, for example. Char mask. Oh, so backing up, Mask is a god, but your relationship is more of a Patreon than a god. Kira. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just want to clarify that for you. Yeah. Also, as far as Kier's aware, there is no shrine. All right. Yes. As far as you are aware, there is none. But out of character, there are. It's just <laughs> like Shar. It's just super secretive. Um. Got to get a bit of a uh, Patreon relationship. Exactly. So, um. So, Torb, you're looking like a frost giant. Um, well, a very, very small one, I should say. Or like, uh, he's at half giant. Small, half, half giant. Half giant. Oh, half giant. Uh, uh, Kiro half giant of frost. This guy's okay. is a half orc. Okay, perfect. Anyone else doing disguisery stuff? No, I'm, I have no fucking reason to. Cool. All right. You would walk in, Torb, even with your disguise. Since this is now the actual Grimish Temple, and I can actually do this because it's very fun, every half orc would look at you and, like, will start drawing their weapons. Like, they're, they're trying to be subtle about it, but they're not. <laughs> you just hear, you know, this unsheathing of weapons and such. How many are in here? <laughs> uh, Easily, like, 20 plus. It's the knife cat meme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We took on that lab four, we could do it. What'd you say? That's like what we took on before. We could do it. Yeah. It's but a bit lower these are, here. These aren't just like, you know, low level warriors. These are all like priests and clerics of high enough level of, you know, to be worthy to be in here representing them. This isn't just like a, 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 a shrine in the middle of nowhere. This is a temple. And this is only the 20 you see. It doesn't include the head priest or any other one else who could be behind a closed door somewhere. Look, we're not here to fight. When you, when you, uh, Jesper, give me a um, persuasion check. I should have, shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh. Are we um, going to have to kill everyone here? So, when, when you speak up, Jesper, some people look at you, and there is like one half work that, like, you kind of recognize, but you just don't remember his name. You just, you're pretty sure he was in his clinic at one time. Yeah. And um, that one will be like, it's Jesper, guys. But he's with but another one. Like, but he's with the Destroyer, the Defiler. But it's Jesper. Wait, the what? But the Defiler. The Defiler. Uh, when they say Defiler, they're gesturing toward Torb. They're looking at me. Yeah. Okay, I have no clue what you did, but go outside for now. We can't just let him walk out. But it's Jesper! Well, dude, he's already a zombie. If you want to kill him, he's already dead. Even more reason for us to kill him. Listen, he's going to walk out of here, and you're going to allow it peacefully. Uh, Give me a... um, Intimidation check. I am going to cast Enhance Ability on uh, uh, Ragnar for Charisma checks. Thank you. Is that a instant cast? Uh, yes, actually, it's a one action. Okay, perfect. Twenty. All right. The the half orcs who were kind of like ready to just attack anyways, even though Jesper is literally right there. Um, they at the words of Ragnar, they kind of hesitate long enough for Torb to walk out if you choose to, at the request of Jesper. <laughs> I walk out. Not kicking the door down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ragnar's just gonna nod at Bane like, there you go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. I did not know he did something weird to you guys. I'm sorry about that. He destroyed one of our god's shrines and defiled it with his own. Move on from that at this point. We're not going to get anywhere. All right. Anyways, we're here. Revenge. Apparently. Okay. So I know Grumsh is a great, great warrior god. But apparently you guys were first involved in the big fights around here? Of course we were the first! We're the best! Yeah! And all the half orcs go, Rah! That's what that sounded like. You were there. No, he was saying, like, this is what he sounded like when he served a war god. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alright. No, okay. I just, look, I'm just trying to find something. 
basically, I'm trying to, um, do, do I see, like, more I recognize? Because I'm assuming groom warriors get injured a lot more often than usual people. See, like, maybe one or two you recognize. But, like, again, you don't remember names, and yeah. it's, it's, like, you know, in passing. And half-orcs look alike, you know? It's... <laughs> Are you making me racist? <laughs> I'm not making you racist. It's just a fact of life, you know. Yeah. It's like Asians. They, they like a lot of Asians look alike, and that's not okay. We're stopping there. <laughs> okay, let's. No, it's scientifically proven. Chris, it's not a racial thing. Of, for the love of holiness, please move on. <laughs> move on. Move on. Right, this is going on YouTube, Chris. And. Okay. Okay. Let's Probably just... better to edit this bit out. He's a military. Uh, afterwards, man. no, you leave it. In, I don't give a shit. And afterwards, I'll explain the reason. Yeah. And you will, you would actually be like, all right, that's fair. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Uh, so like, oh look, I've treated a few of you of my clinic before. Frankly, I don't want my place to be destroyed, and I don't know if you guys want it either because I help you guys keep fighting. So, can you help me figure out why this whole war got started? Can you tell me where the first battle took place and what were the, who was there, what the factions were? The details, man, the details. The, the one half work that recognized you, and, and you know, it's like, was well, Jesper. And he'd be like, we're fighting because we're fighting. Rah! We're going to be the lead domain here. Our god will rule us, god. Okay, did groups, like, tell you that directly it has been passed down from our priest who represents his voice his war chants echoed across the lands oh <laughs> okay <laughs> like ragnar looks very unimpressed all right uh do i get the sense like that's all they're gonna go get uh, I don't know. Do you sense that? I speak to a manager, please. <laughs> don't be a uh, Karen, yeah, don't my drone be... business. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right. Their, their manager okay. is a Karen. Half work. <laughs> can I make a religion? Can I make a religion check? Smile. Yeah. Can I make a religion check to see if I know like a groom ritual that would tell them, that would like get, get them to tell me more? Um, you don't need to make a check because you would not know. Okay. You never served Groomish, you never done anything with Groomish outside of attack one of their places. So no, you wouldn't know. <laughs> yep. I will be right back, guys. Uh, Alright. So who did you fight first? Like, was it Tears guys? Bahamut's guys? Or was it Tempest's guys? We fought everyone! Anyone who stands before our god will die. All right. Was anyone here at the first, the first battle? Everyone like looks around. Well, like the three or four people that are like actually talking to you guys. They look. They're like shrug. No, no, nope, not me. Any of you others? Like the we don't know. Them? They're either not here or dead. Who was your priest? No, 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 no. Our priests are waiting for the very big one. Hmm. All right. Well, when the battle happens in the city, our priests will lead us into victory. Okay. Can you just try to? Can I make one request? Just try to keep it away from the gray area. Of course. Thank you. Your clinic would be one of the first clinics of Grimish. It would be. Great. Our warriors will never die and live to fight forever. <laughs> I keep a straight face. That's all I can do. I, I just yep. nod and I'm, I just like smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> and we, I would just exit. Yeah. Like, thank you for your time. Yeah. Well, Dave. that was not productive. Uh. Bane, well, that, next that, time that we come, it down to three. Yeah, Bane, next time we come across a uh, temple structure, please don't destroy it. I, I, mm, I, I, I didn't destroy it. I just placed their bones on top of their altar and prayed. Uh, you've got what I'm... Never, 
happened to that offer? Mm, I, I don't really feel And more that. importantly, how come they didn't retake it? I mean, their their little shrine is undefended. It's really sitting in the open. Mm, fair point. Uh, I think I begin to think you all are. You see, right. you see him start mumbling to himself. Must increase the guard. Yeah, you're sane, right? Yes. All right. That was very hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, he said. I was Frank- more so confused by the question. <laughs> well, I'm dealing with Bane and I'm dealing with Ragnar as people, and it's just like, you don't talk much. I'm just like trying to make sure I'm not the only person who feels grounded here. Like, just kind of looking for it. like. Yeah. Just <laughs> kleptomania, but. I mean, kleptomania is fine, but the fact that you questioned, like, you were confused by the question, means I can trust okay. you. <laughs> All right. Um. Should we perhaps start at this or your next? Well, Temp is probably the next difficult one because he's neutral. So, and I've never even met him, so let's see what he's got going on. That should be the best party, though, is uh, might be less fanatic. Yeah. I just realized this whole session is just a giant pub crawl with gods. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's lore. Who doesn't love a good lore session? I know, but like our alcohol is lore. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten close to fighting like twice, and if, yeah. if I went to the cord one, there'd definitely be some fights. Like I, I'm pretty sure if I didn't succeed that intimidation, we would have had a quick battle on our hands. So. Yeah. Out of carriage, I was already prepping a, a battle map. <laughs> For yeah, this. I could, I could sense there was a suspicious <laughs> amount of time that you were quiet, Chris. I'm like, he's totally getting a battle map ready. At this point. <laughs> like, I, I, I it's like, speak. thank like, God, I got enhanced ability now. <laughs> yep. All right, let's head to the next temple. Okay, right, cool. so we're heading to uh, Tempest. Uh, Tempest, yeah. Right. Cool. All right. So compared to the previous two war gods that you you went to, this one is uh, it's less bold and brash. It's just more v- stereotypical um, fort looking type temple. Um, a lot of ballistas. It, it looks like a war god's temple, but it doesn't have that personal flair that the previous two had for their gods. This one's very plain, but still as grand. Um, What'd you say? Efficient. Exactly. Right. Like the Groomish one had a lot of barbaric, like wooden pikes and you know, half orc. Fanville. Yeah. This one is stone. It's square. It's very. It, it would get the job done probably better than the previous two temples you've seen to defend itself in a war. Um, but again, it doesn't have that personal twist on it, so you lose a little bit of that. Pizzazz. But anyways, you go in. Um, everyone in there is it's a hodgepodge mix of warriors, fighters, paladins, clerics. Um, anyone who's ever been in a battle or likes to fight is in here. Um, easily, you would see a dozen, two dozen, three dozen people walking around. Uh, and you would see a halfling, bare-chested, you know, no shirt. He's wearing, you know, pants at the very least, and has a battle axe on his back. He would come up to you all. Hi, right, what can I do for y'all? Ah, right, we're here. Some people here were in the first big battle of, uh, well, the strife in town. Of course we were. If there's a battle, our people would be there. Well, we wanted to see, like, we wanted to know specifically who was there. We'd like to talk to them. Oh, historians. People who like to investigate the bard's tales. Of course. We love sharing the tales of battles, both good and bad. Come in, come in. I let him assume this, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of down with that. That's kind of why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much are a biking, so poetry should be part of your thing. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of down with that. Tales yeah. of Battle. That's why the when war... I was like, oh, yeah. if there's something here that sparked the war, it was like, that's like, it's kind of not deception, but kind of, yeah. yeah. Anyways. You didn't say it, so you don't make the check. The halfling assumed it. Um, as he's walking, he's going to be talking to you. I was like, that battle was only a few weeks ago, so, you know, it's, it's the ink is still a little wet, so... But uh, we'll pull up the documents and what are you looking for? Are you looking for to see if someone died? Are you looking? For, what are you exactly looking for in this? 
Honestly, we wanted the details of the actual battle itself. If it was strange or straightforward, if there was like the any kind of you know, weird magic involved, or the atmosphere was different than a usual fight, he would not. Basically, basically what started it was it just yeah, like one who, who stray sacred stone? claim, or like what happened to you? Yeah. So I should warn you, there are certain details we were obligated to keep out. Um, any specific details of any participating members, but general themes and you know who won, I'm free to disclose. Okay, I you understand know. that much, but like, can you tell us like what the actual like fight start was? Like, you tell us. Oh yeah, no, he's just saying what... he can't name people. Is what he was no, saying. No, but yeah, but can you tell us like, can you tell us like Not a paladin? Can you tell I, us like a paladin he, through the first stone? He he would hold up a hand. Hold on, not at once. I only got two ears, and there's five of you talking at once, even though there's like four of you there. <laughs> um, it just like looks confused. <laughs> exactly. Let me let me pull the documents and see what I can talk about. Yeah. And he'll take you to a side room, and then he'll start going through, you know, a drawer that looks very new. And he goes through like three pieces of, of folders, and he pulls out a folder, looks as dumb, starts flipping through papers and such. There we go. The first War of Ostgod. Yeah. Yep. You got the four gods: our god Tempest, Grimish, yada blah blah blah. So pretty much what happened, from what I can tell you, is there was an official declarance of war between the four gods. It was essentially more of a honorary squabble just to settle things. Okay. Our gods like to fight. It, it was it was more meant to be of a banter, not really to the death to declare anything, but that's how it ended. Now, what I can't tell you is what is weird is he's looking at it. He's kind of raising a eyebrow. It's like, huh? And he like goes through some papers. Hold on a second here. Goes through more, flips a couple over, shuffles them around. Well, that's weird. What? Well. Anything that started the war has been redacted from the moment everyone gathered to halfway through the fight. Redacted by whom? I don't know. It's above my pay grade. Can I see? Oh, great. So there's details completely missing on yeah, exactly what we're looking at before. Uh, who, who's above you? Who's the, your higher up? Ah, uh, well, you have the head priest and then Tempest himself. Okay, where's let's try head priest first. Do you know where he is? <laughs> He's gonna go and walk in and talk to the head priest of Tempest. Yeah. Well, they all might not be of a powerful enough level. I am the champion of my god, and as such, I would, in the interest of keeping relations good between our two deities, request to see your high priest. He would look you up and down. You ain't champion of shit. Your god isn't even in on the records. That should make you very because he's waiting to strike. What did but, you say? Wait, Vanessa's a <laughs> guy? Said, should... No, I, I got the pronoun wrong. Oh. Uh, I said, and that should make you very afraid because she's waiting to strike. And he just shrugs. That would be an in... Can I intimidate roll? <laughs> yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> it's going to be a very high DC. <laughs> a, because your your goddess isn't a, isn't, isn't a god, it's a being a power. And, and I know. Being... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're trying to do, though. Yeah, I think you saw Give me the damage, so... Yep. 25! 25! That's pretty, that's pretty damn he, high. He, he would... He wouldn't shudder, but he just nods, just like, be it as it may. You don't have the rights to do so. I think I saw some piss. Did you say? Like I, I was making a joke. Like I think I smell piss. No, he he doesn't. Like he, oh. you, you definitely did. Like make. I don't want to say scare, but you definitely like asserted yourself. But it not just like I'm just imagining T posing to assert dominance. <laughs> That's exactly what he did with his triton out and everything. He's just like, my goddess is real. She's gonna strike you down. <laughs> But he's at VSMA, there are protocols. Your god, if she even is real, because remember, she's not awake fully and powerful yet, so, you know, it's not, you know. <laughs> you know, I was trying to pull rank. It's cool. All right, all right. You, you have rank, but you don't have the power to back up that rank. It, it would be like, um, 
Um, oh no, I understand. If it was like if there was a god of rocks, you couldn't commune with Pelor. <laughs> I, I I understand. I got a great analogy. It'd be like the the, the general of Madagascar. If Madagascar had an army, and the general goes up to America. It's like I want to talk to your vice president. I demand it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Because <laughs> uh... Madagascar is very tiny and doesn't really have an army. Well, oh America. God, joke, Chris. I'm just trying to make sure. I'm trying to make sure my analogies work. Okay, I don't want confusion uh, happening. No, because that actually did happen once with the principality oh, of Sea Land. Oh, didn't know that. And that's didn't tinier know. than Madagascar. I thought you were referring to that actually. With <laughs> like, I, I didn't know that was like, a thing. Yeah, like as long as, a, like, as long as if it's a sovereign nation and it has a high-ranking military personnel, they can absolutely demand to see your leader. Oh. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, what, uh, if you're gonna look around and try to spot, like, where would a head be hanging out in here? Yeah. I'm gonna ask him uh, what the <laughs> protocols are, actually. So, going in order yeah. here, um, you're in a side room right now, but when you're walking through, every head priest, it, it depends upon the god and, like, what the priest's personality is. But with a war god, if he's not here in the temple, somewhere, like, in a private room or whatever, he's probably out on a battlefield leading something somewhere. Or overseeing a war. As, like, a referee or a moderator, something like that. Could I, like, take a guess at, like, which... Or, like, look around at, like, what room might be theirs if... You are, are going to try to sneak away and, and look around? Or like just the, I guess when we pass back through. Yeah, uh, when you were walking through, you didn't see anything. Um, it'll probably be further back or further up somewhere in the temple that you haven't seen yet. Alright. Um, and then for the protocols, what, what kind of protocols do you ask for, Justin? Like how to see the head priest. Uh, well, he says... Depends on how you want to do it. You could always declare battle. That's free game for anyone, but it's to the death, typically. Um, so I don't suggest you do that, because you will all die. Another way is, if you're declaring war, again, don't suggest that. And then lastly, if you're another high-ranking priest with a powerful god, you could do that as well. Okay. How high ranking are you, Bane? Which one are you talking to, me or? Uh, My name's not Bane anymore. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's not Bane anymore. So if you hear Bane, it's always gonna be you. Mm, ranking as in what? Are you a high cleric? No. 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 All right. Bad. He's not bottom rung, but he he's no, he's not cleric or uh, ranking. Cleric. But as we walk through, I, I kind of peruse like the the warriors that are like probably assuming training. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for like the biggest. I'm looking for any guy that's like has a really heavy looking weapon. Uh, yeah, there's several with like large bastard swords or halberds, giant battle axes. Uh, there's one guy that looks like he's just swinging a tree. Wonder how much damage that does. Well, the only one way to find out. There's, it's uh, yeah, we we hit him with it. <laughs> we hit him with it. Yeah, exactly. Take his weapon, hit him with it. <laughs> yeah, trees are a dex weapon, right? <laughs> for 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 you, Park? No, they're not. <laughs> oh, because you well, asked. I take a little meat. I look at the mediator and say, I see a lot of your warriors are wielding some. Of such heavy caliber weapons. Maybe I oh, can... Uh, he flexes, you know, I've been in the arena many, many years now. I've been looking for such a weapon. Maybe your priestess and I have something in common since battle both in thrills and entrices us? The head priest isn't going to come talk to you to talk about weapons, he says. <laughs> the halfling. Yeah, what's the process? How many months do we have to wait? What kind of paperwork do we have to fill out? Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Ah, well, if you want to do it like an unofficial way, well, there's, there's, that's easily done. Now, yes. And he'll pull out like this giant stack of papers. Oh my gosh. 
So we need um, your name, blood type, date of birth, social security number, uh, mother's maiden name, grandmother's maiden name, the name of your first pet, the first vehicle you own, make, model, and license plate number. Um, we need to know your favorite flavor of bubble gum. And it just goes down this list of just arbitrary like things. <laughs> and we need to know the name of your third grade teacher. I fill out the entire thing in two minutes because I'm a doctor and I'm used to paperwork. <laughs> exactly. As you know, that works out perfectly fine, Jesper. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what's what's the wait? How many months are we looking at for this wait time? Uh, well, he said, well, with the ongoing war, it's going to be, he pulls out a piece of paper, writes some numbers down to some math, three to seven months. No, that's honestly not bad, guys. That's uh, not a bad wait well, time. Okay. Took me longer to get my carry concealed for my trident. <laughs> How the fuck do you get conceal? How do you conceal that shit? I get carry, but uh, conceal? He would, he would unsummon. He would unsummon the tri the trident that is no longer there, and then resummon <laughs> it. Carry conceal. Okay, that's a neat trick. <laughs> all right, uh, we all come back. Is if you conceal it well enough, you don't have to get a license. Yeah. Kira just pulls out no. random daggers. <laughs> We all they have, have things like, so um, should you guys be Jesper, doing this in front of me? Jesper, are you not a responsible <laughs> citizen? Do you not have a carry conceal for your weapons? I don't have any weapons on me, actually. Oh, well, there you go, then. Like, unless you count Rasul as a weapon, and he's more of a helper. And no, not really. Your god is a god of war, not of laws. Be as it may, I am a lawful person. To some degree. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Why? Like, in, in this city? Why are you not a lawful person, he asks. I don't follow uh, every law. I'm just saying, you know, laws exist to keep people from just killing each other for no reason. That's kind of what we're trying to figure out. That's really what we're trying to prevent yeah. with the war here. Can't be able to feel no reason. Need a oh, that, there's a reason for that. It's just the strong lead. I can really appreciate that, but I can also appreciate, um, Bane, as he's talking, you're just going to look like, is there like a, is there like a place where the high priest looks like they would be? I, <laughs> he, he's like, you guys aren't going to be able to talk to the head priest. If you don't have anything else. Man, so, can going I, on right now. Matt, question, can, can I, can I see with my eyes look at the documents? I just want to see, like, is it, like, just redacted, like, bleak black ink lines over the actual report? Um, technically, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Hey, you're not going to be able to, like, fix it or remove the black lines, because oh, you're okay. not. I was hoping but, like, water would work on ink. Sa sadly not, because it's written in ink as well. It, it, they don't have typing machines here, or, uh, you know, printers. They, they, they wrote the report down, and then someone basically blacked it out. Yeah, it's just more, it's more ink, not white out. Yeah. Because there's no way to, like, well, get, there's, no, like, no way to get the information from that paper. And, and unless you have some spell or something to call upon knowledge, no, you don't. Legend lore is five they're... levels away! Yeah, I was like, I, I don't, I, legend lore comes to mind, but yeah, nah, we don't have that, so, yeah. And I don't get my artificer thing to, like, level six where I can just touch an object and tell what happened to it. I'm a freaking warlock. I got nothing. Yeah. You have Eldritch Blast. What else do you need? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep, you're right. We Eldritch Blast the, the priest here. Go to the high priest. Call it a day. You fight your way to the top and the, the temple of a war god? That sounds like a beautiful idea. Let's do it. So let me get a okay. map real quick. I'm going to stand 600 feet back and I'm going to Eldritch Blast around the corner. <laughs> while the rest wait, of wait. You melee. took fuck it. You're in a Hexblade and you took fucking eldritch spear oh of course i did eldritch blast is the best it is the best but you're a hex blade that works on melee only no you can get there's no limit to the invocations you can get i mean no no no, are, no, no, no no what i'm saying is your subclass i mean i, I don't care that you're a blaster cast yeah, you blade. just assume my battle class one I, two hey i oh. asked and you already told me you're a hex blade you bitch nugget don't make Okay, okay, here's the thing. Don't you dare come at me for my build. My paladin build sucked, so I did this one smart. Right. Okay? Oh, okay. I can do melee and range. 
Th side question. I'm you saying took Thirsting Blade, right? What? You took Thirsting Blade, right? Which one's that? The one that gives you an extra, extra attack. attack. Oh yeah. I, I have the I have what they do written down on my sheet, not like what they're called. So I have the extra attack, the distance for the Eldritch Blast, and the uh, charisma mod. Uh, we have to go yeah. with the, I'm gonna skip the Kylie influence because for, for, for persuasion and deception proficiencies. Anyways, let's get. All right, that's all we needed to know, man. Uh, thank you for your time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's many more things to do in a nice, beautiful place like this. Yeah, make me grab you Bane. by your ear and get you out of here. Bane, what do you have in mind, Bane? I was just wondering if you were maybe willing to sell one of those fancy heavy weapons. Sell them, of course. Yes, we have a shop up front. Are you uh, trying yes, to I... buy a tree? <laughs> um, I, I, I would peruse the, the, the establishment first. So, um, in the shop with weapons and everything, because this is a War Gods temple, they have basically every weapon of war possible for sale. Maybe not on, um, on, uh, on like, yeah, on a shelf, like, but they have, they have, like, a catalog for, like, ballistas, cannons, but for more melee weapons, they do have a few exotic weapons for sale, if you're interested in one of those. I am. Okay. Um, so, let me pull up my list here of exotic weapons. Because I know, like, Master Sword is going to be one of them. Um, there's going to be the Spiked Chain of uh, Warp Picks. Um, there is going to be, uh, like, yeah. Those are gonna be like your heavy ones. So like the Bastard Sword, War Pick, um, yeah, and it'll have uh, giant clubs that are like spiked. Uh, what, what what are you like looking for? I like the Bastard Sword. Bastard Sword. I was looking for like a, like a heavy heavier Morning Star kind of thing, but oh, a heavier Morning Star. Yeah, definitely they can have something like that. Okay, I look at that. On this question about the Bastard Sword, because I know it was in two E and it does two D four damage. Besides thematics of not wanting a great sword, why? Or is that the only reason? Who what? Like like why would you do bastard sword instead of great sword? Because they're both two handed. I was I was asking for being like a bit out of character. Like why bastard uh, sword? Easy to conceal it. Mm. I guess. Maybe it has reach. Maybe maybe it's a long sword or a great sword with reach. That makes sense. All right. What what so what weapon do you have right now that you're trying to upgrade essentially? Your uh, um... right now it's a, right now it's a spear. Oh, okay, and you're trying to get a spiked maul or something like well, that. Well, yeah, Fernie was trying to tell me I should get you know go more heavy weapons and come back and see him. Oh oh yes yes yes. So you would get like a spiked maul, which is a big big giant stick with a big giant ball of metal at the end with uh, spikes on it. He picks it up, can I even hold it? Oh, uh, what is your strength modifier? 16. 16? Okay, yeah, you are able to pick it up then. It's a 15 minimum. Okay. I pick it up and says, how much is it? How much is it? Uh, he yeah. will tell you. It is 70 gold. He holds it and looks at it really very finely. Anything more magical, more, you know, more pristine than this. Well, we sell basic weapons here. We don't really enchant them here. Um, but we do have different materials of such weapons. Uh, we have... Uh, so they have adamantine. They have um, cold and fire iron. They have mithril. Uh, they have silver weapons. And then they have weapons that are made of crystal. Hmm. How about for the adamantine or... Um, the Animantine version, it would now increase the price to, um, let me look here, 2,570. All right. He hands over the big chunk of change. And what that would do is, um, Animantine, I forget exactly what that modifier does. 
Usually for this, we Thank pushed you. or it delays crits or something? It's a weapon. Oh. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't it increase damage die? Yeah. The, yes, the it increases damage time increases, I believe, the weight, and it also increases the damage die. Yeah. So it is now a 2d10 weapon. Excellent. As a damage die size or add to die? No, it increases the die itself. So it's a D, it's a um, D12. Oh wait, 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 wow. Well, no. So it would be a it would be a D12 because adamantine. But if you hold it in two hands, it is now um, an extra D4 of damage because of, cool. of uh, the two-handed properties of it. Uh, first I will take it. Yeah, first off, yeah. So D12 base and then a D4 extra for two hands. Wow. And then um, it deals piercing damage. All right. And a lot I will take damage. it. And it requires a 15th strength to wield it. So, yeah. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Very welcome. It's so uncivilized. Oh, but you forget, I'm a forge clerk, so if I, I can just replicate this multiple times. Very nice. He can learn the. Um, well, now remember, you're not proficient in it because it is an exotic weapon, uh, Torp. I just wanted to sell them. Oh, well, in that case, yeah, you're perfectly fine then. All right. Oh, all right. We got cool. two more so you all leave. Show. We got two more to stop by. All right, which one are you going to go to? You get Bahamut and Tier. Let's go to Tier first. I don't want to deal with dragons right now. All righty. The Temple of Tier. Um, it, it looks similar to the one from um, Tempest, but it's downplayed more. It's not like a grand building. It's more opening and welcome. Um, it has a lot of like Roman styled things. So you get like the the white pillars and such going around. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's weird for a Norse guy, but okay. Yeah, you know it's the DM. Forgotten. It's just being fancy. Yeah. The architect really loved Roman t style, and that you know what? That's fair. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Tears like, eh, it looks cool. I'll allow it. Well, he's blind, so I don't think he'll complain. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's fair. Um, so you would enter. Um, not as many people as in the Tempest God, uh, in the in Tempest Temple. That's a tongue twister. Tempest Temple. Ah. Um, so, yeah. A Going down my random list of things, a dwarf would walk up to you. Priest of Tear. Mm. Hey there. You would see one of his eyes has an eye patch over it. Welcome. Hello. We're here to inquire. Oh, Go ahead. We're here to inquire about the battle that took place a few weeks ago. Mm. And what was you to learn about it? It was a weird one, to say the least. We're trying to learn what was so weird about it, like how it started, mm. the atmosphere around it, or who threw the first uh, punch or slice or arrow, so to work. Let me get one of our war counselors, and he could tell you about it. He was there. It's like, dear God, Jesper, oh, like. Just has a weird feeling, like holy shit, someone helpful. What the hell? Yeah. Well, you went to all the ones that weren't a lawful or a good <laughs> temple first. I mean, yeah, but like we wanted to make sure there was nothing there that would be helpful because like sometimes stories can be biased. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Um. Well, you did learn things from the other two. So I'm not yeah. saying you didn't learn anything. It's just like, yeah. Anyways, so uh, a few moments later, you you would see a. Somewhat oddly familiar woman come out. Oh no. Hello. Wait. I'm it's... Patricia. Patricia. It's not her, but it looks like her. Same race and everything. Uh, the um, oh, Asgard race. The 13? One of the statue members of the 13, the one who's riding a uh, griffin, I believe. Yeah. With a flaming sword. Uh, looks, yeah, she looks like a thirteen. Yeah, she looks like her, and and not, not like in a racial way, but like actual like looks like her. Not identical, but 
Looks like some simulator. Like, perhaps like family a resemblance or something. Uh, but... family. It, it, if you were a betting man, that'd be a safe bet. Okay. Uh, hello. He would, um, I'll greet you. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, did she introduce herself as Patricia? Yes, she did. Her name's Patricia. So, she introduced herself fast. Yeah. Hello. My name is Jesper Varley. Uh, these are my associates, Ragnar. I don't think he has a last name anymore. Kier and Bane. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. We're we're looking for uh, yeah we were looking for more information on the fight that broke out a few weeks ago. I was one of the war counselors for that fight. Yeah, it's, like it was described as being weird. Can you yes better explain what that means to us? Of course, of course. It, what was weird about it um, is just how it started. Um, our our gods and people we love to fight. More often than not, we just fight for fighting, not for glory or for killing, per se, although some do. But this one started off as just a normal, uh, you know, just a, a war party. Just fight, grow stronger, learn. If a few people die, there were people like myself there to help mitigate that. But it turned out to be a whole bloodbath in the end. That's what was weird about it. And it was... As far as I could tell, no one betrayed anyone. We there was a large investigation into it, but uh, yeah, it was weird. As if someone wanted it to be a bloodbath, and it became that. So it wasn't originally it was intended to be as bloody. Okay. No. I like I said, it was meant to be a, 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 a so a war. Was, like were the warriors overcome by bloodlust or? No, it. it <sighs> She, she, you know, is trying to think of her words and describe it. She just can't put a term to it. It's as if – what was it? Bloodless. There was no spell or enchantment or anything like that. It's just when the war game started, all the blessings of the gods who were, who were represented overcame us. And it was as if one of the gods or all the gods agreed to make it a bloodbath instead of just a normal war game. Huh, okay. That's in their nature. That seems odd for that seems odd for Tyr or Bahamut. I can yeah, understand. No, that's, yeah, yeah. But the other two, that is very normal, honestly. I don't know if it was done in retaliation to hopefully have less of their people die, or perhaps something else. I don't know. Do you know who so you shot? Totally... Yeah. Do you know? Who... Are you asking? So you. Go. Sorry. You go first. I was going to say. So you. Okay. Thank you. Uh... So you truly believe that there was no other exterior foul play? You just believe the gods were bloodthirsty that day? Bloodthirsty is not the right word. It was something else there. I've Zalus. seen bloodbaths. I've seen proper war. This wasn't that. It was shallower. It was still a. It was still the gods crying for blood, but there was something about it that just made it seem hollow. About oh. it, as if. Did it seem special to that battlefield? No, no. It's just where we always do our war games and such. If anything was special about it, it was the fact there was less people participating than normal. Less gods, I mean. Were there any gods that are, like, normal, that are usual members that didn't show up? Well, yes and no. I mean, we've we've had smaller fights. We've had, you know single gods versus single gods. Typically, we have a lot of the lesser deities participate. It's not unusual. It was just odd for a war game, and then it turned into a bloodbath. Hmm. Let's see. This is bizarre. Do you know who shot yeah, first out of all the parties in the war games? It was simultaneous. Like I said, the rules of a war game is... Everyone meets up in the battlefield, and we, we, we draw lines. It was us and Bahamut versus Tempest and Groovish. It was just meant to be a fun little fight, as fun of a, you know, war typically is. Um, there were certain rules set in stone, you know, no killing blows if, if can be not done. It doesn't stop Groomish's people from doing so. But, you know, it prevents less people from dying, so we have more strong warriors, and, you know, it's meant to be... 
a learning lesson for a lot of the warriors who've yet to has been in a battle before. Hmm. The battle starts when all four head priests and the gods that they represent start the fight. If one god doesn't, who's participating doesn't want to start the fight, it doesn't happen yet. But all four gave the go, and that's when blood started being spilt. And like I said, it wasn't, you know, a controlling force like the gods demanded blood being spilt. It was just the normal starting horn for a, an example wasn't one of a war game. It was one of an actual war. Hmm. All right. Were any of the gods seem out of it that day that you know of? Like, that they weren't like their usual selves? She would shrug. I'm not a head priest. I'm a war counselor. Gotcha. Do you know where the head priest is? Somewhere in the temple? I don't know. I'm assuming this place is pretty damn big. It's very big, yes. Do you mind if we take a look around for them? Uh, the head priest? I mean, pfft. if you can talk to him, let me know, because I want to talk to him as well. Okay. Rasul, find someone shiny. <laughs> yeah. psh, 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 psh. Flies away. Yeah. Finding someone shiny is uh, <laughs> not going to take him very long in a war god's <laughs> temple. Find someone <laughs> extra shiny. Yep. Find someone extra specially shiny, like godly shiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So he... she, she would think yeah. about it for a minute, and she said, "The only thing that I can put my finger on as could be the cause of this." is before this all happened, um, the Adventures Guild had it in an extra addition to it, which is weird. That's the only thing weird that happened. An extra, you mean like a building addition? Mm-hmm. Which hasn't happened since it was established. Holy shit, I was right in the first 20 minutes of this session! Yeah. What was the addition? Well, and she, she kind of doesn't want to talk about it, but she's like, well... It's kind of the reason why we had the war game in the first place. All right. Any more details, or is that all you can give us? Well, you're all going to go there, so I'll tell you this. Every venture guild in every country has a paragon building where the gods who more or less rule the country all have a shrine there. Osgard has yet to have one. Now one magically appeared. Great. Well, uh, that's going to be helpful. Thank you very much, Patricia. You're very welcome. Again, I don't think any of the gods would have established a bloodbath over such a thing, considering every god has a place in one of the countries. At yeah. least one is. Yeah, but we got to think. We gotta, there's something that's making this games worse than usual now get to the bottom of this well i thank you for doing so it's always nice for people to find justice in this world yeah truth yeah. is uh, a very important thing to keep in mind yeah i'm gonna still probably come back with some like some blonde guy's hair Ex i like, literally he he like he's like pulling a like a very you know handsome looking human man with gold armor and he's like, bow down, hand me! This instant! And we're like, oh, War Council Patricia. And he like, looks at the rest of you. Am I interrupting something? Are you the high priest? No. Then no, you're not interrupting anything. Sorry about that. Rasul, come here! <laughs> I told him to find the head priest. He assumed you were them. That canon how Rasul sounds now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a bird sound, okay? Don't. I mean, I like I'm mixing it up with the parakeets on Kier's end. Exactly, I heard that too. Like I, I like hearing him in the background because like every time his parakeets went, I just imagined it was him squawking someone new in the temple. Um. Oh, well, I haven't heard any of Kier's parakeets this entire time. Oh, I have really yeah, good. No, headphones. Exactly. I have really good headphones. I heard uh, can you hear them? Yeah. Can you hear them squeaking? Yeah, yeah they're hard to wake up. Yeah, cool. Um. So, Patricia would, you know, bid you farewell. Okay. If you don't have anything else for her. No, nothing I can think of. How about we go to the guild, then? 
Yeah. Cool. So you would all head to the guild, and you, have, you guys haven't been here in a, in a hot minute, you know, a few months, and there was a large gaggle of people here. The building with its chaotic structure, um, if, you, if you've read the pamphlet, you know what it looks like. It's a hodgepodge of different architecture built. Compared, compared to all the other um, adventure guilds in the, in the world, this one's the most, air quotes, chaotic of them. It doesn't have a single unifying way how it's built. Okay, where's this new edition look like? Um, so the new edition, again, looks very hodgepodge mixed on the outside. Um, and, and if you didn't, if you weren't told there was an extra edition, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. Um, but going inside to the main building and then going to the additional side of it, you would notice there is a very large or on the inside type structure. And it's, again, the inside's very plain and bland. Um, a lot of brown tone colors of stone and dirt. But you would see there are 12 empty spots. Or should I say, there's, um, sorry, 11 empty spots of where shrines would be. And what's you would there? see there is one shrine there. Okay, what's the shrine that's there? It is the shrine to a god that you have all seen the symbol for multiple times. But you don't know the name of who it belongs to. Uh, is it the shadow symbol? Yeah. It is the shadow symbol, yes. Uh, we, need to get, we need to get rid of this. God damn it! Well, yeah. can we pick? Uh, can, mean, he, can he be picked up? No, it is part of the structure itself. Is it, get rid of it. Is it made of, the materials is, looking like? Yeah, the materials are made of black crystal. It is made of silver-colored metal, uh, whether it's a tempered steel or silver itself. Um, you would see other materials such as green emeralds and. Um, Overall, the shape of it's very. Um, what, what, what's the word for? It doesn't have a shape. Uh, um, amorous. Uh, um, amorphous. Uh, amorphous. 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 Yeah, it's very amorphous in, in structure. So wait, it, it doesn't really look like anything. It just looks like a shadow it's of some sort. Almost a completely crystalline structure, right? Oh, uh, almost yes. Hmm. I have. Easy to break. <laughs> I have jeweler's tools. Um, if you were to give me, if anyone would give me a religion check, that would be great. <laughs> Where y'all fucking? Can... <laughs> uh, okay, does that one give me advantage on religion? Because I have a plus five. I have, I have proficiency, so I'll give you advantage. Okay, uh, religion. Uh, I'll give you guidance. Okay. Are we oh, roll guidance. Religion modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did not work out well. Oh, so... what's your religion mod, Bane? Okay, fourteen. Four. Bane, what's your religion modifier? Out of character, I am not smart, so I don't. Uh, so with right. it being mate, with it being intelligent, I'm not very good at that. Right, yeah, my religion is plus two, so yeah, I was my, plus three. I'll mine was plus five, well. so yeah. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah. So everyone here would know. Or you would be able to feel that you can't destroy this shrine through normal means. You have to win it over. Uh, the 22, would we understand what that means? Yes. So similar to how Torbane took the um, Grumish shrine, you have to basically turn it into a shrine to one of your own deities. Um, but the problem is, you would notice there's 12 spots around here. And Torbane, definitely um, Ragnar, maybe Kier a little bit from your history. Um, you would all know that each one of these spots represents a certain domain or maybe a certain way of life that each of the gods could represent. And so you would have to either... Have your god fill the spot that this shadow shrine is filling in, or whoever put it here, or you have to go and kill them and have someone else replace it. Are there any like tracks or prints or anything? No. 
I can put my deity here if. Uh, but yours is not a shadow. No, he didn't say it had to be the same. Well, no, it's because each one represents a different domain. Yeah, so that's something that overtakes the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so. so this, as in this, do this one's domain is shadow. There's another one, say, for war. That's yeah. Yeah, no, so, I don't serve a god of war. I serve a god of sea. Okay, so then. Like, this one would be. One your god so, wouldn't be able to take over as a, it's a shadow god. That it was overtaking it, as in. Am I, am I does it have to... that each like each pillar represents a different domain, correct? Right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So basically, a okay, shadow so god has to other... replace a shadow god. God. Gotcha, or any gotcha. other thing it could represent. Yes. It looks to shadow. water. Could... Looks to water droplet. Do you see mm -hmm. both? Thing here by any chance there is no the the, the shadow one is the only shrine in here right now every other spot is empty okay um, Lulf, mm. go ahead, sir, say. um Kier's gonna pull out a black mask yep gonna try to place it on the shrine okay you put it on the shrine Nothing happens. But you feel... How do, how do I wear this? Putting your god out there like this goes against his tenets. True. <laughs> uh, fuck. So, you, so, let me... Actually, let me ask, so you would put the mask on there, correct? Mm -hmm. As your hand touches the shrine... Um, three ideal ideals pop into your head: shadow, lies, and deceit. Hmm. As in, of uh, this god or that mask? god? That god. Huh. Yes. So they're very similar to your god, but um, while your god is 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 um, how do I explain this? Your god is. Chaotic good, correct? I think chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. So y your god's more of like stealing and stuff. This one's more about like the political side of things. Um, more the um, it, it would be more like yeah, lawful evil side of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, like lawful. Maybe maybe a, a devil type stuff, things in that nature. Yours is just more Robin Hood esque um, ideals, while this one's the same terms, but just in a different category. And I'm, are you going to share this with the party? I'm assuming. Yeah. Or you're to yourself. Okay. Cool. <sighs> that explains why the dog can use all of them. Okay, so we have no clue who this god is, and they're causing the strife by making everyone go wacko. So we have oh. to either replace or, and we can't get rid of the statue, we have to kill the person who made it, and we have no clue who put it here. We could ask who is it. Do you think the guild will keep those records? Chibu? Well, let's head inside the main building and see if we can find something. All right. We all would leave the temple area Yeah. with 11 empty spots, and you would go in the main building. What are you going to do? do? Is there, like, a reception desk? Yeah, there's a reception desk, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to the reception desk. Hello there. Do you guys keep uh, records of who did work for you? Who does work? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Like, uh, who did the construction work outside recently? Oh, that, that just popped out of nowhere. What? Yes. Like, just overnight? Just mm -hmm. randomly? That, an entire... Like, how big was that shrine? Oh, it wasn't, like, probably the size of a human, maybe a little bit smaller. So Wait. You mean the room? The room? No, no, no. The room. Oh, it's it's pretty large. It, it's you know, yeah, fucking huge. You like, said the shrine. 
sorry, that's that's what I meant by it. The room and the shrine. Well, I say shrine. I meant the entire structure. Yeah. Uh, it's it it's rather large. Um, like two football fields. Well, no, like they the addition that popped out is what I'm asking. That we all were standing. Yes. In. Yes. That's no longer bigger than a human, and four of us were in there. The no, shrine. No, 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 the shrine, as in like the actual shrine to that god. The shrine to the shadow god that you don't know the name of was the size of a human being. The building is the size of two football fields. Okay, the addition to the building. Correct. Okay. Okay, so that popped out of nowhere. Yeah, it just this happens. What the hell? Do you have any idea the name of the god who take to claim in there? You know, a lot of people are asking that question. Yeah. I have no clue. Do you have any clue who might know? The cleric that belongs to it, maybe? Do you, do you see that you one? Records? Nope. Uh, oh, this is going this is going swimmingly, ain't it? Okay. I'm gonna go in and take notes of like any notable features of that statue. Yep. Like just you go make... and take all the notes and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Just like making sure I have extremely detailed, so if I can ask somebody if they recognize it later, like a police sketch, basically. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Anything that. Can uh, the key also has the holy symbol, I believe. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do I have anything that can help me here? But... Okay, is there a locked door there? To the temple? To the temple thing, yeah. No, it's it's open. Can we make a door? Uh, do you try to? I was just asking if there was a door because like I, I'm looking at my spell list to see if I can do anything to prevent more shit from happening. I have arcane lock. Um. You have the general vibe that's a bad idea to prevent people of religious nature to go into a place to represent their god. Yeah. I'm just trying However, to... it is only that god who doesn't exactly have a lot of followers as we know, as far as we know. Correct, that god, but you, you gotta think about like, um... Um, what was it called? The um, they claim. Yeah, exactly. There's gonna be multiple shrines there. Remember, there's 11 empty spots. So if you... Put a door there. You're not preventing just that god. You're preventing every god and their people. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go check in my sources to figure out if they have any more info on this. Okay. Do you have any? Okay. Well, I have one last bad idea. Let's hear it. I could skywrite. And just say, Shadow fucker, come to the gray zone. That would be... That's a move. It's a move. I, like, it's... I'm running out of fucking plants here. We have no clue who this god is. We have no clue where this building sprang from. The battle is we got no details on. I just have no other idea what could work. Gosh. What's all talking about? I could check in with the watch to figure out if they have any information on this god. I doubt it. We can try them. Well, that's like my order. They've um, been looking into the darkens, so yeah, possible. I'm gonna go look at some restrict here. I'm gonna go look in some restricted areas see if I can figure out what this fucking thing is. Yeah. Uh. We'll start with Kier. You get okay. in contact with Thea. Um, ask. Do you, what do you ask her? know anything more about the dark and fast god? I was hoping you would know. Ever since that thing popped up, everyone in the fucking watch is going crazy. Because no one knows anything about it. Yep. I have strong reason to believe that's what's behind this whole war. She would not deny that train of thought. It may be, maybe not. Well, I mean, it, 
This is the only god who staked claim in the Paragon room. She would okay. nod along. Yeah, she's like, it's not impossible. Several people think the same thing. Just the problem is we don't know who, why, or what this thing is. It's a well, god that there... no one knows about. Has there been any new information on the Garfin family since I gave the letters? She said, we sent people down there to look around, and either if they were there, they're gone now. Where they went, we don't know. All right. I'll keep looking into it. Jesper, what resources are you pulling in here? I was going to, like, I don't know how far I could go. Could I go to Asmodin and convince them to let me into secret libraries with that symbol? Oh, yes, but you remember Asmodin, to get there, it's going to be days, if not like a week, to travel. To okay, get there. so this uh, We're already going to have started by that point. What'd you say? The war's probably have already started by that point by the time you, you get there. Possibly, you don't know for sure. So you could do that. Okay. But okay. No. I'm going to. Well, this is my last resort. I am going to one day prepare Skyrite as a spell. Yep. And then I'm going to write Priest of the Shadow God, come to the gray area. That's ten words. In the sky, and it lasts all day until dispelled. Perfect. So when you do this, um, it only lasts for a few moments before someone dispels magic it, because uh, it's you know, fucking eyesore. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, <laughs> it just that's just what. It, if someone did a giant sky writing spell on the city above the city, someone's gonna dispel magic it. It's just it's gonna happen. Yeah. Gosh <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Well, um, it doesn't mean someone didn't see it. Like it was there for a few, like at least a minute, if not more. That's, um, the, that's the that's my last resort option, honestly. That's all I can think to do. Yeah. And as far I as you know, work. no one would show up. So. Yeah. No one Hello. suspicious comes Hello. in at all. No, no one. Nope. Okay. There's a couple people who do claim they are for the shadow person, but it's very easy to tell they're just pretending and. They're just trying to start a fight for no reason. They're all yeah. liars. I drug them. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like, there's wow. one guy who has, like, um, what? You what? Like, <laughs> like, I say, let's have a drink first. I just give them, like, sleeping potions. Yeah, I don't think a lot of them would fall for that. <laughs> just to be honest. Yeah. They're pretending to be a shadow god. It's cleric. Like the, um, they're pretending to be a shadow god, and you're like, hey, let's have a drink, buddy. <laughs> just, <laughs> just take a little sip. <laughs> also, I have this pill while you're at it. I heard it's great. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just. Your sleep lasts longer than seven hours. Please contact your doctor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that plan didn't work. <laughs> that was my last. Okay. We... That was my last plan, guys. I got nothing. I don't have anything. Um. Uh. Uh, are we just gonna have to fight this war? <laughs> what was that? Do you have any ideas? Um, I I, I will be honest with you. Someone had a, the right idea earlier of something to do. You just have yet to do it. That's... Oh shit! A person to talk to, a place to go. You've already said it, so don't oh, come up with any mine? new ideas. The mine? Yes, the mine. Huh. All right. Okay. So that uh, okay. Let's go to the fucking mine. <laughs> I, I I love you guys, but I think this is probably the the biggest yeah, headache of a session I've had. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, well, said, there's a lot of like possible ways this could go. It's you are confusing. correct, and I'm I'm not disappointed with your choices. It's just like someone would be like, let's go to the mine. And you're like, nah, let's go do something else. I'm like, no, you're right there. Like if no one mentioned the mine, you know, I would be like, all right, cool, whatever, you know. But yeah. it's because someone mentioned it, and then like the adventure skill as well. I'm like, oh guys, go look at the because adventure skill. When Reese what? mentioned the mine, we're like, nah, shut up, Reese. You're even stupid. It's definitely not the mine. No, I, <laughs> dude, we, no. Like thing is, we went to the I said we should go investigate the mine, but we, I think the 
way we did that. It was like, because we said it was going to be days away. So we said, let's do town first. We can do it all in a day. Oh, it's all fine. Okay. We'll, we'll, go, to the, we'll go to the mine next session. What do you mean next session? This is still... It's only been two hours. It's been two and a half. Okay. No, we started at 5.30. So two. You started at the 30-minute mark. Well, sorry, it's been two hours and 15 minutes. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I yeah. got a bit longer, so I can stay. So yeah, let's go to the mines now. Okay, if we go to the mines. Okay, then, well, yeah. does anyone here have at least... An, does anyone here not have an hour? I probably don't have an hour. I have maybe... We'll save it for next week. We'll just make this a short session, because Connor's not here as well. Yeah. And I don't want to leave him out. Especially um, as Tom but... back, considering he saves our asses more times than I can count. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a squabble of a fight. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I'd rather have Connor there. Okay, I'm fine yeah. ending early then. I thought I was about to have to try to fucking commune with this holy symbol. <laughs> Here's at the shrine. Tell me your secrets. Although, I was about God, ready to just this... be like, you know what, let's just fight this war. Let's just do it, guys. This town <laughs> you know? is a lot more religious. Than you know, what? holy war sounds fun. No, the, the town is not super religious. It's just because of the. Yeah, they... it, it's brand new. It, it's lines have yet to be drawn. Um, yeah, there's been there's been combat between religions. Since the like the, basically the beginning of the town, yeah, just because, since like, the beginning of the, the campaign. Okay, well, yeah. I'm, yeah. Gonna, yeah. Well, I'm gonna stop the recording there then. That's perfectly fine. Okay.